What's going on guys? In this video I'm going to be showing you um, another play from the near close flex formation. This is going to be a nice little inverse. Once you start to get them really concerned with the corner out right on the right, this is going to be a great route combo that you can go to that's going to really attack the left side of the formation. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We upload videos every day that can help you become a better Madden player on offensive side and on defense as well. And in this video, we're doing a series on the near close flex formation, breaking down kind of some money plays and some tactics that you can use. If you have not already picked up the uh, West Coast playbook, uh, I actually have a West Coast offensive guide for free. And if you want to get that, all you have to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Also, if you just want to sign up for my text message membership, that's the same process, and it gets you free schemes that I do every single week. So I do free offenses and free defenses every single week in our text message playlist, and we've covered things from trips tied in to U-trips to bunch to spread to ace slot to split close to the West Coast. So if you want to get access to all of that stuff, um, then you can just simply text the word Madden to 208 Two one eight six nine zero zero. The play we're going to be talking about is the play Texas, and we're going to give you a very specific way to run this. This is not the only way that you can run this. Okay, there's there's more to this, but this is a good play that you can use. It's a really quick motion, and honestly, they're not going to be prepared for it. So, the best way to defend the. Um, the best way to defend this play right here is to, or the, the smash play, is to put like this concept right here. This right here is pretty much the best way that they can defend it. Okay, the problem is there's nothing on the left side. So they're going to have to put a purple over there, and then they're probably going to do something like this. And so when we get them to start doing this, this is where this play really can come in handy because what we're going to do is we're going to very simply just simply streak the tight end or the X. Um, and then we're going to essentially work uh, work the same concept. So what I like to do is I like to drag the circle receiver. And then uh, with the run I like to just block both of the running backs. Uh, if you wanted to, you could put you know them on a, a route. But I just personally, just because the pressure is so good against formations like this, I really like this setup right here. It's really simple. It's just a three-man route combo. But if you watch this X receiver, we're going to motion him left, snap him right there. You're going to see that he is going to get over the 10-yard curl flat zone. So cover three Mabel is not going to be a good option uh, on that side. And I would tell you right off the bat that most people, okay, this is just my opinion, most people will defend this formation like this. They want to send pressure. Uh, that's what they really want to do. So you're going to see a lot of this look right here. Like this is a very popular way to defend this formation. And so you're seeing here, I'm sending, uh, I'm sending five people at the quarterback with my, you know, user coming right down the middle. And so this is just a great combination to go to. Um, and then again, you know, we're just going to drag the circle receiver across. And remember our rules for slide protection. We're going to slide to the where the line shifts. We're going to ID the mic. And then as you can see right here, whoops, I motioned the wrong guy. Um, you could run it like this if you wanted to, but that's not the way I want to run it because we want to get away from the user. That's the whole point of this scheme. Uh, we want to get the user out of the middle of the field. So you'll see right here, they send heavy pressure. or pick it up easily. And as you can see, we're still able to dot the, dot the uh, outside corner route. So this setup is super, super simple. Uh, as far as how does it play against man coverage, I'll be honest, it's not the best against man. Um, it's really not the best against man, but you do have some options against man. So uh, first things first is your circle, or your uh, your motion over corner route. He is a slot automatic, and he's lined up in the slot where he's got that short out, um, ideally in what? He's got ability, um, he's got the short. So what you wanna do in Mutt is you wanna put the short in ability on both of these players. It's gonna help them a ton and that's why it's really important that you motion snap properly. So you really wanna get this guy snapped like right there so that he can get that separation that we're looking for on that corner route just like that. So 
And in Mutt, if that's 99 route running with short and elite, it's going to be fine. You're going to be you're going to be successful against that. Um, about the man blitz real quick. Um, this is going to be pretty much the same against the blitz. Um, there's really not a whole lot different. Um, the biggest thing is if you know it's man coverage, uh, you can obviously do so. You probably wouldn't call this play. Um, this is specifically really designed for a base line defense. But you'll see right here that if they do run the man coverage, you see you've got your circle, your drag coming over the middle. Now, most of the time, your opponent is going to want to user your uh, drag route. Ideally, that's where we want him to be, okay? That's why I come back and I say this right here is kind of the default that we want to, we want to see them trying to do. So if they start to do something along these lines right here, where they're just sitting in the middle, um, this is where the drag route really comes in handy. But it's also, you're still going to be okay. Um, typically, they're, they're probably going to climb the seam with the tight end. Uh, just from experience, that's probably what they're going to do if they do give a traditional cover two look. The other thing is, this is where, again, the rollout. So if I roll out, then I can throw that. If I don't roll out, I can't throw that. So another little trick with this is to be on the right hash mark. So if you run this with your twin receivers to the short side of the field, this is something that you can actually do because what's going to happen is you're going to give yourself a lot more field. And what's really cool is basically what you do is you've created a, um, you've just created a numbers advantage within this because now they don't have the same number of people to defend on the right that they had on the left. And so this is going to help us even more. So again, all we're doing, max protecting, in this example, we're going to double team the furthest most guy on that side. We're going to do that right there. And then we're going to basically just simply run this concept. And at the snap of the ball, if we can, we love to roll out, right? So you see you're just rolling out, rolling out, rolling out. And then you can play maker or whatever. Um, right there, the cloud flat did do a really good job of defending on the sideline. There are ways that you can do um, – there are ways that you can deal with this. But unfortunately, that's where I say, like, you know, again, it, it, dep it depends on the hash mark that you're on, honestly. Um, with Brady not having a skate artist, it does limit, like, what you can do. Um, that's why I probably should, I mean, you want to have Hot Route Master, though, too. And Hot Route Master is honestly a little bit more important um, in the big picture of everything. So that's why we're doing it this way. But I just want to go over this one more time. So, again, all we're doing is we're streaking and dragging and then we make sure to block them you don't want to hit max protect you want to actually block them but at the snap of the ball you're going to see i'm just going to start rolling out here and when i roll out what happens is i can throw it underneath that underneath that 30 yard cloud if it was a 25 yard cloud then i could throw it over the top but if, it, if it's a as you're seeing in this one it's a 30 yard cloud so i have to throw underneath it so we'll, sh or we'll show you one more time and again you have to get out of the pocket for this to work if not, then you're checking down to your drag. Like, simple as could be, right? And the drag check down is open. But again, I'm just rolling out. And on the sideline right there. And again, I'm not getting the, the timing with Brady is kind of not, not firing properly. I want, if I can get him out there. But again, this is the other thing that I want to really hit on. I just don't think you're going to see that because they're so concerned about the tight end streak you're going to get a lot of that. Like, I, I'm just telling you, if you get cover two, um, you know, we probably wouldn't call this if they were running that um, because it's just not built. It's just not built to, like, get open. It can if you roll out, okay? It can if you roll out. Um, let me show you that. Let me show you this again. And, again, our drag has been open this whole time. Um, you know, if they use her up the scene, we can take the drag right here get out of the pocket this is more this is what we're looking for right there that's what we're looking for so if they run in 30 yard cloud then you can hit what you can hit them with that that little adjustment another thing is if they're um like if they're in cover four uh just real quickly if they're in cover four cover four does decent against this um let me just show you the rollout but the rollout is really the secret sauce um, it's what makes everything work better than it should. So as you see here, roll out, and there we go. And all I'm doing is as soon as the ball is snapped, I'm tapping 
the right trigger, and that that dis- that decision to sim- just simply tap the right trigger is allowing me to be very open to rolling out. Again, I, I can't stress enough if their user um, like if their user blitzes and he's not disciplined on that tight end streak, you need to be throwing that tight end streak. But if he does, if he is good, then okay, we're just going to get out of the out of the pocket here. And as you can see, X is wide open on the sideline. So this is a great play to combine with the smash because they are both really doing a good job of just isolating defenders and, and really helping you attack both sidelines on the field, which I think is huge for this offense because we are obviously can attack the middle of the field. Just look at where we're at. But now what we're doing is we're taking that base line, 30-yard cloud flat, and really working some uh, maneuvers to get openings against that coverage.